Hello and welcome to another exciting Echo Arena VRML matchup between Dishcloth Bandits and Nameless. I'm Sputnik Cobra and I'm joined by my co-caster Swift and it's going to be another great matchup. So how are you doing Swift? Doing pretty good and uh, I'm hoping that this match starts pretty quickly. Uh, a little bit early on the start but it Seems like all uh, everybody's ready. Everybody's in the game, etc. Wait, 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 wait! I gotta cut you off. Look at look at the nameless roster. Look at who is on that roster. Oh no! Oh the no! Ducky one five six. So the last cast we had, I think it was like two casts ago, we just kept talking about Ducky, and now look who shows up. Is he in the match? He isn't, unfortunately. Although. We did get a dropout from Nameless. Maybe we will see him sub here. I mean, no offense to the rest of Nameless, but I kind of hope so. I'm not wearing the sunglasses, unfortunately. He doesn't have the bright light in front of his face, so yeah. he can see beyond the light. <laughs> and he can finally see his monitor. He doesn't need sunglasses. But no, we won't see Ducky. I don't know why they're not bringing him in. That's, that's who I want to see. I want to see the man behind the duck bill. I want to see him playing arena again. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure he'll be quacking all the way, uh, like it, like he does. Well, were you around when he used to do the quacking? He still does it. Oh, so he's back on it. Yeah. He's also a very accomplished tower tag player. He won a recent tower tag tournament. So, he's uh, an accomplished player in any game that he plays, and it's always a pleasure seeing Ducky. Sometimes it's a displeasure, 
it can be a toss up, but we love seeing him nonetheless. And before we get too carried away talking about Ducky and I forget to start the the, the stuff and etc. We are beginning this match, Discord Bandits was nameless without Ducky unfortunately. But still I'm sure this is gonna be a great matchup as uh, this neutral joust goes out and this is won by a headbutt from Nameless. Gonna bounce down into the additional Club Bandits half, but it's just gonna be recollected by Yogzi here, looking for uh, a clear, but not quite gonna be stolen away from by Hunter. Goldfish now trying to take this one through after that pass, but it's gonna be cleared away by Dish Club Bandits. A terrific save from Coney Games, able to shut down that bottom pocket shot from Nameless. Nameless still with this advantage, they'll miss that pass, they'll look to retrieve it off the wall and they will get it, but the goalie coming out, Coney with a great dive, but throwing that interception to Multi, Multi giving it right back to Hex, and Hex is going to slow it down and see what his opportunities are, feeding it back to Bowtie, down to floor, but the pass isn't on point, but Coney will not get a hold of it, and still with this possession is Nameless, and they're working it around the bubble, they're showing their skill, so Multi will hold it outside the bubble, and they're going to slow it down because they're not having success on these passes into the bubble. Yeah, this one going to go up to Goldfish and a nice pass to Hunter and getting this pass uh, over to Hex as well. But this one just going to be back to Way. Um, to Multi and uh, not quite finding this pass on the shield. So now going to go all the way through after this clear from Dishcloth Bandits. And bounce around towards the goal there, but not quite going to be there. But Dishcloth Bandits getting the uh, steal there and uh, not quite able to find the pass. But Coney trying to pick this one up. And uh, Yogg's going to get that stun here, looking for something on the offense, but the bounce shot isn't online. And uh, yeah, there, there comes all the shots from Discloth Bandits, and now they're going to try and recollect. And uh, not going to be allowed there by uh, Nameless and the, the defense there working out. So Yogg's will pick it up at ceiling, outmaneuver that defense, send it over bow. But that stun will come through, and high I am Goldfish will get it, losing it back. Bandits, so Bandits with possession, they'll lose it once again at floor, at trap, they have it. Yogzi finding that pass to ceiling, Snowy Blue with it. Snowy Blue's going to lose it, the communication wasn't coming through, he didn't notice the man on it. And Nameless will clear it towards the Bandits back end. And with it, and with the shot, they won't be on target, it will bounce out of bubble, so a missed opportunity from Bandits. Yeah, but this clear not is, uh, is not going to come through. And Nameless is able to recollect it again. But no, Coney taking this one away. The Dishcloth Bandits trying to get this clear. And it's not quite going to work out. Hunter now recollecting for Nameless. And uh, trying to get this pass up. But Snowy Blue trying to clear it. Not quite going to get that one through. And uh, Yogg's going to steal it back away. And he is going to eventually get that one through. Now a stack race in the half of Nameless. Is going to be won by Nameless. But not on target um, to the disc. Although finding it... Anyway, and this uh, one is going to be recollected, uh, although nice pressure from Nameless. And they will send it through mid where it bounces off upper ramp down towards floor. It's a scramble for possession, getting that slap down to diamond. And Hyam Goldfish will try and find the clear, will bounce off double, picking it right back with that self pass, but throwing it right into coverage. They will get the interception. They'll send it back towards that bubble, but Multi is there to receive it. Holding and slowing things down. It's still scoreless. This is a great game. Six minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and this one, uh, this pass just missing Hunter. And actually missing all the players of Nameless there. But, uh, I mean, yeah, just really good defense from both teams. And good stacks. You can see that from Goldfish there. But also Snowy Blue getting that stun. And Multi and Snowy Blue trading stuns here. But this one going to be taken by Hex, and this pass to Goldfish is going to work out, although he's going to have to try and work, uh, work something up by himself. This pass to Multi not working out, and now going to be cleared away again by Dishcloth Bandits. So we'll bounce down the floor and into Trap, and getting it in coverage under pressure is Hunter. It will swap out between the players, and then we'll find the clear, Nameless with the clear, but it's not all the way on target. It'll be picked up at ceiling, and there'll be another... Loss of possession, sending it down to that backline player. Maybe should have opted for holding on to it, maintaining possession or a back pass. So Bandits will get that cleared down, and they'll get possession, and they'll find the two points. So that's two points on the board almost halfway through this first round. 
completely scoreless. These teams were back and forth, challenging that disc, and finally finding those two points. This Coney Games. Yeah, and uh, scoreless for almost half of the game there. 4.32 before we found a goal. This is going to be an excellent matchup as uh, Hex tries to get this one through for not only nameless but scoreless. And uh, now going to be intercepted by Dishcloth Bandits. They're going to try to get something done on offense, but no. The defensive line up there from nameless. And it seems like both of these teams are playing pretty defensively so far. And uh, they definitely should. Um, not a huge lead um, from Dishcloth Bandits. And nameless can still take their time. Uh, with 4 minutes and 35 seconds remaining at this point, although this pass missing for Nameless, so hopefully they can clean this up and get something done on offense as this pass goes uh, through to Snowy Blue, although just missing this one. I'm going to be picked up by Goldfish, but again, a pass not quite making it. Coney there, getting that clear, though bouncing back, and uh, the slap from Snowy Blue. And looking to pick it up and finding it is Hunter VR, so they'll throw it down court, but a little too ahead of the target, a little too high, but retrieving it off the Geo is Hex, so Hex is going to take it to floor, take his time, try and juke out this defense, and opts to send it back to Multi, so they're going to reset, they're going to get into position, and they're going to try and even up the score, but then you're going to miss that pass, so it's going to go to the hands of Coney. Coney getting stunned out, so the clear is not all the way on target. It's still in their backcourt and picking up his hex, and they're going to try all over again. Yeah, and Hunter with this short pass to Goldfish. Good job there, and this pass quick off to Multi. And now just trying to pass it around the bubble, trying to find an opening in the defense, but there just isn't one. Dishcloth Bandits with the outstanding defense, and now the stack on the other end. Can they get something done to finish this one? It looks like the bounce shot there, just not being online, but being recovered by Oxy and that say uh, that stun saving and uh, Nameless from yet another goal there. So great defense on the stack back from Nameless, and they're going to hold this back, try to find some passes, and try to hold here, getting the stun there, so a great block by Hex, and now just trying to find this pass up to Hunter. He will eventually find it, but they're going to be forced to retreat yet again, and uh, they just need to try and push their players up the field. At this point, the uh, the timer is ticking down very slowly, but uh, they will find that if they leave that till later on in the round, they will start to panic a lot more. Goldfish trying to get something done here. Just going to get the back pass. They're trying to clean it up, and this is the right way to do so. Now looking for a clear and boost, and it looks like they will Ooh, almost be first that disc, but no, it's just going to be taken yet again by Dishcloth Bandits, and another clear comes through. So they will send it to the floor. It will be picked up again by Nameless. Nameless still down by two points there. Having a hard time getting momentum, and they'll miss that opportunity. The boost towards that bouncing disc as it came back, and they'll recover. They'll get the stun, but not in time to get the disc. They're not going to be able to retrieve it. And they'll lose it once again, Snowy Blue, and not being able to send it down. So it's back and forth. These teams are putting a lot of pressure on each other and trying to get these opportunities. They can't get it out of tube. They're clustering, and they're fighting at every chance they get. Coney Games going to pick this one up for Dishcloth Bandits, being the goalie just going to pop out a goal for a second just to make sure that they maintain possession. And a really, really smart play from Dishcloth Bandits so far to just maintain possession as much as they can. And even it, when Nameless have possession, just waste as much time as they can by just forcing these clears and then just recollecting them on the other end. And uh, 1 minute 30 remaining, this clock is ticking down, and Dishcloth Bandits might come away with this uh, with this round just from that to those that two point lead. Sorry, tripping up on my words. But this one going to be passed back to Multi and another clear coming through from Nameless. They're just trying to get plays down the field, and it seems like they are now. Not getting the stun, and uh, that actually might cost them here. They're going to waste a little bit of time on that. Offense, and uh, Goldfish is going to get that nice stun onto Snowy Blue. They just need to find one more pass, and they can get this one through, and uh, they will not. So now going to be recollected by the defense of Dishcloth Bandits. They really needed that goal. And it will sail through mid. It will bounce into that bubble, so nameless still, scoreless. Boosting in is Bandits. Bandits at the floor. Yagzi with possession. Coming off the backboard. Ooh. But he's going to be stopped by Multi. So Multi will deny that opportunity at that three that would have pushed them ahead even further. And will be sent down towards the backcourt of Bandits. So with this two-point deficit, it's still anyone's game. 26 seconds on the clock. Incredibly low scoring. I don't know who's going to come out on top. 
This one taken by Goldfish. He's trying to find a pass quickly so we can get this cross through. This one going to be taken by Hunter. He's trying to walk this one in. The pass to Hex. And he... Oh, the save from Coney. He's going to put that one... Uh, he's going to stuff the offender. Goldfish trying to find the disc. He's got five seconds. Gets the pass above the goal. But the player is stunned. And just excellent defense by Discloth Bandits. What a round. So the first round will be low scoring. It will be heavily defense sided, but it was entertaining nonetheless. These teams were fighting it out in the first round, and the second round is still anyone's, and they can easily force a third one. And I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see what happens. Just the defense from Dishcloth Bandits seems absolutely unstoppable at the moment. Just they're able to read everything so easily, it seems, from Nameless. That last pass just really showed that. The pass over uh, from the bounce. But Snowy Blue able to get the stun on the player. And that would have been like almost at a 100% shot. Behind the backboard. All he has to do is anchor it in with two seconds remaining. And that uh, seals the overtime for them. But And again, Coney Games as well. Jumping out of the goal to stop that player. And the recognition on defense is absolutely outstanding by Dishcloth Bandits. And it's not that Nameless were doing anything uh, particularly bad at all. They missed a couple opportunities, but that was uh, from both teams. So uh, it, it just Dishcloth Bandits with the uh, slightly better defense just edging um, with that uh, first round victory. But also we saw some great plays from, uh, plays from Nameless on the defense as well. Not able to get uh, any points past two. And we will go into... Uh, the second round absolutely and it's gonna be an exciting one so i hope the audience stays around i hope they tell us who they want to win in chat and with that the neutral just countdown is underway and these teams are fresh out of the gates and looking to get possession is dishcloth bandits and they will come away with it so snowy blue with his advantage moving down court gonna send it off ceiling pick it right back up and take the shot Ooh. off the backboard but it's gonna miss the goal, but picked up by his teammate, and with that give and go, but losing possession will be slapped out by the goalie of Nameless. And those are the sort of things that we see the, from individual players that um, are, is really starting to take off. People finding their own things to do, and we saw it there from uh, from Snowy Blue giving himself a self pass off of that. And actually, this might be a shot here coming through, but it's going to be stopped here by Coney Games, and. Uh, I mean, just seeing a lot of stops as well from Dishcloth Bandits on the other end. They're really able to position well to stop anything going on from Nameless. And uh, they're now trying to find the collection onto the Nameless half. Yogsy getting a stun, and this pass just missing. So uh, now going to be recollected here by Nameless, and they're going to try and find a clear. And the Hex on the floor in his backcourt, looking for that clear opportunity. Opting to send a pass up to I am Goldfish. So Goldfish not under pressure just yet. He sees the defender ahead. Sending the clear off the wall. Teammates with the stack trying to read it. They won't get to it in time. But they will retrieve it off the Geo. So Hunter VR to send it back to the ceiling. Picked up by the player on the other side. So it worked out. Goldfish making his way into the bubble. Sending it to Nest. And finding this opportunity. Sending the pass down to floor. And Hex not able to secure it. I am Goldfish will pick it up. And take oh. it in himself, but it'll be stolen by Snowy Blue, who sends that clear into the hands of Multi, and it is back and forth. This bubble defense is strong on both teams. I'm on the edge and of my seat. And they will continue seat. to play, so Multi, there will be a little stoppage in time. And a timeout will be called, so with that crash coming through. Yeah, I mean, usually we see in games that uh, if there is a crash out, um, there's a lot of times where they will wait. Uh, they'll just wait and play on with three players um, until uh, until they uh, score a goal and they'll rematch on the next goal. But just since this game is so close, they're really forced to just stop in the middle of the round. And a good call there from Nameless to stop it in the middle of the round because they just know this game is not going to be won easily. And especially if they tank two points at the start of the round, they know how that worked out for them last round. And it just won't work out well i always thought that traditionally the the timeout you had to play until a point was scored and then you could call stoppage and take possession so uh i believe that's still the rule you must play until this i don't know i'll have to ask a admin a vrml admin but a very crucial timeout from nameless nameless in the bubble they were able to get the clear attempts from Bandits, but 
calling the timeout. They will take Jass advantage at their court, at their back court. And to QB will be Hex. Hex sending it or attempting to send it through the tube. It will bounce off the Geo. And Multi will pick it up. So we once had a very fast paced round and we're slowing it down again and looking to get it heated right back up. Yeah, and I mean, I must say in this situation, uh, I definitely support stopping at mid-round just because it is so close. And taking just two points off the board will definitely uh, heavily uh, make it one-sided. But actually, it's going to be recollected. And the nameless defense is nowhere to be seen. And Dishcloth Bandit's taking the two. It seems like the restart didn't matter after all. No, it didn't. And the players are in good spirits, so they're both having a few chuckles. It will be Jass advantage back to Nameless. So we're at the same score that we had last round. Let's see if Coney Games can continue to make the saves to keep his team on top. Yeah, and uh, Goldfish here just trying to walk this one up. And he, in fact, he will get this cross pass. But the one-on-one -on -one from Hex, will he get it in? No, Coney Games stuffing again. Trying to get that, <laughs> trying to get the dunk there. But it, it just doesn't work. And that's twice in a row that Coney Games has read that. Incredible defense from Dishcloth Bandits and Coney Games. I like defense-sided games. You get to see the goalie. You get to see a slower pace. and It looks like it will be Hunter VR with possession along the wall. Trying to find that pass. Will bounce off Bowtie into the hands of Haim Goldfish. So Haim Goldfish along the wall, navigating along the Geo, sending it through mid. It will get past one defender. Bounce off the Geo. And looking to collect it as his teammate. But getting stunned out, they'll lose that possession. And it's another exchange and trap with a slap out. That sails past his teammate's hands and this defense looking to retrieve. And now Multi on the offense for Nameless. Trying to find a pass, but it just seems like there isn't any. The defense from Dish Club Bandits, look at the lineup. They're just covering them constantly. And oh, as soon as one opening is found, they do find it. Hex trying to block this one in, but he's just too hesitant to throw that disc. And I think that's really what's going on wrong right now for, for Nameless. They're taking too much time with the disc when they shouldn't be. And it's just causing uh, them to be able to uh, get this one. This one could be thrown at Hex, making this one. But the, the bounce won't work out. Uh, but Goldfish taking it anyway, putting that one in for the two, tying this one up again. So as we approach the halftime mark, first round going to Dishcloth Bandits. It's tied up. Five minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Joust advantage to Dishcloth Bandits. Picking it up will be Yogzi at QB position, sending it to left tube into the hands of Snowy Blue. Snowy Blue getting that feed, but it's not there. Not able to get into the hands of his teammate, but his teammate able to maneuver himself to the other side of the court. Pick it up, and now Trello with the cross, but getting stunned out from that encroaching stack but able to retrieve it at Bowtie and send it up to Trello so they get another chance at Trello looking behind goal and the stun out will come through from both of these players. The defense is heavily sided in this matchup and boosting down towards the Dishcloth Bandit's bubble and getting that opportunity but not able to finish it and getting the save. Another save is Coney Games reading that bounce off the ceiling and sending it towards mid. Now Hunter trying to progress this, but Snowy Blue stopping it, and uh, now trying to find this clear, and he will do, but trying to be recollected here is Nameless, and uh, Hex able to pick that one up for them, and uh, get this pass off to Hex, uh, to Goldfish, sorry, and now taken by Multi, who is uh, just, they're trying to push this one up with this slow passing play, and it seems to be working. They're breaking up the stack in the center. Multi now with a two-point shot, but Coney games with a stop again. So Coney will find that save and will clear it down towards that bubble of Nameless. But look at that Dishcloth Bandits, and they will find it. Yogzi Dishcloth Bandits is so hard to save very quickly. So I'm just going to go referring to them as bandits, but they will find that Yagzi will find that clear at the floor and ascend to goal and find that four meter two. So in the lead is Dishcloth Bandits looking to take this in two rounds. Yeah, just edging uh, forward on my seat uh, as this round progresses as this is just, it's just so close between both of these teams. They're both very defensive, uh, defense ori uh, oriented, as uh, you mentioned, and it's really uh, exciting to see uh, such just great defense from, from a team uh, coming out 
Uh, pretty early, this team hasn't played in, in, in Season 1. Although, uh, a few of these players are uh, have pretty decent experience under their belt. And uh, it just makes for a really good matchup. Uh, seeing both teams just have great defensive plays. This one coming from Hunter, but this pass could not quite coming through. And uh, trying to be recollected here by Goldfish, and they will get that one for Nameless. Passing this shortly to Multi. Multi just hold holding this back. He knows he has to break the stack up, or he's not going to get much done. And here is going to be a Trello stopping anything from happening there. And now going to bounce towards the goal. And this stack coming out from Dishcloth Bandits. They won the stack while last time, and they'll win it this time as well. Yogsy recollecting for them on the offense. Just holding back, moving backwards, trying to hold that defense and pressure them outside of the bubble. And he does that, but not quite able to get the pass through. And now... Uh, stolen by Snowy Blue. Goes for the bounce shot, but a great save by Multi. But stealing it back is going to be Snowy Blue. And that is uh, the longest... Uh, the, the biggest lead we've seen this entire game so far. And it has been a low-scoring matchup. I've been saying that so much. We're approaching the two-minute mark, so time is running out for Nameless. But Nameless does have enough time to put two scores on the clock on the board and sending that off the wall through the tube is the QB Yogzi. Excuse me, Yogzi is on the other team. So sending it to Shield and having this opportunity and taking it will be Hunter VR with the assist from Hyam Goldfish at four meters. And uh, again, bringing it down to just a two point deficit. One minute 38 remaining. Can they bring this back? And just to answer that question in the chat, this is a bronze division matchup. Although this is just phenomenal play from both teams uh, considering I mean, the division not really meaning much. Just, oh no, this headbutt coming through from Dishcloth Bandits from his teammate. Now collected by Nameless and Goldfish with the stun. Can they progress this enough to make this a goal? And it doesn't seem like so far, but Hex is going to recollect here for Nameless. And this might be what they needed. They just need to find a pass through. And Hex trying to do just that. Passing it to Hunter. And they will get the two points. And now that tragic play from Dishcloth Bandits is going to win Nameless two points. And it's going to tie it up yet again absolutely tragic they gave up that opportunity off the joust advantage a headbutt from one of their players knocked possession out of their hands so they have this one possession lead they're not going to be able to connect on that pass to two but retrieving it off the geo is yagzi the qb and they're going to try and find that boost they're going to clear it past these defenders and looking to get it at the ceiling but getting stunned out by that nameless defense but nameless needs to put more points on the board if they want to take this before the end of the timer so it will be overtime looking like overtime i shouldn't speak so soon they have this opportunity they're looking to get it with that ford boost but the stun will come through and it will neutralize that attempt so eight seconds on the clock coming out of gold coney game slapping it coming back from behind is Nameless, so Nameless will force this overtime in the second round, and they're not going to fall in two, but they're not going to fall in two just yet. So with that being said, that's overtime in the second round. And, oh my goodness, this is a, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken record. It's, it's such a close game. It's really incredible, the play from both teams. And Nameless punishing that mistake from Dishcloth Bandits and forcing this overtime now. So two minutes on the clock. Now. Dishcloth Bandits will clear it down the court. Hunter VR will pick it up for Nameless and setting it down towards that bubble and looking to retrieve it at the floor is Dishcloth Bandits and losing it. And another player from Bandits coming through and they're going to lose it to Multi. So it's changing possession so rapidly they have this chance below the goal and going off the backboard and finding it is Hex with the assist by Multi. So that will be second round going to Nameless. We we're going to be going into a third round. And I am glad to see this third round come up, to be honest. This is just such a close game. It definitely deserves that round three. And uh, I'm really hyped to see this. Uh, and uh, I mean, just let, let's look at the scoreboard for a second. Just how many saves and defensive plays are on the board right now. It's just ridiculous and just excellent play from both teams. I mean, uh, from from fairly new teams uh, comparatively, this uh, the de uh, for them to focus on defense first is a very great thing to see. Is it something that uh, I think a lot of the newer teams are uh, neglecting a little bit?
but the defense comes first and the the offense will kind of just naturally follow through later and they definitely have the defense down they definitely do and it typically is that people want to score rather than save but these teams they are heavily defense sided they're super strong in the bubble they get collected very well and they apply pressure where necessary with so with this joust coming out Getting it will be nameless. Multi will duck that defender, but not duck the second one. And looking to get it is Dishcloud Bandits, and they're sending it down to that backline player of nameless. And now Hunter able to get this clear. Actually, this is a great pass through to Hex. And Hex is going to try and work this one up for a one on two. In fact, Noah's just going to hold back here, try and get this pass through. And he will juke plenty enough to get by his team some time there, but not quite going to find the pass there. And now Multi trying to recollect for Nameless. Try and get this pass up to the nest and they will. So Hex just recollecting here. And uh, getting their whole team up now. But the shot isn't there actually. Was uh, seemed to be a pass but almost worked out as a shot. Not quite going in though. And now being recollected by Snowy Blue. Getting this clear for Dishcloth Bandits. And it will bounce towards that bubble of Nameless. And looking to retrieve it are those three stacking players. But that defense, that offense is hot on the heels. In the back court, applying full court pressure, and they will get the interception. Yagzi with it at mid, so they can start this offense towards the bubble. Yagzi not under pressure just yet, taking it all the way into the bubble and going off the backboard and finding it at eight meters. So at three points to start off this round, a little bit of different pacing from the first and second one, and this third one with eight minutes thirty seconds on the clock is looking good. Yeah, I mean Dishcloth Bandits taking their time. On the offense, as they definitely should, they've seen what the nameless defense can do. They've seen what the goalie can do. And uh, they've definitely taken that into account. This is a long pass coming through yet again, being taken by Hex. And now, getting this pass through to Hunter, ha pass back to Hex. He's trying to put this one through, but mishandling the disc a little bit there. And cost them, but no, this cross pass coming up to Hunter. And he will take that one for the two. Although still one point behind as Dishcloth Bandits found that three-pointer before. And Chad, excited to see this third round. Yellow Man saying, yes, sir, red three, round three. And Wolf are coming in with great games. And Andy, but not with a bad name, but GG. So Joust advantage back to Dishcloth Bandit, sending it to Tube to Snowy Blue. Snowy Blue with possession, not under pressure just yet. And sending that wide pass down to the floor. It will be picked up by Hunter VR in the bubble, who then sends an interception to Min. Not able to find these clears. A lot of interceptions from Dishcloth Bandits at mid. Yagzi or a trail will find these and they'll not be able to find that pass. They'll send it towards Bubble and another clear will come through. And Yagzi, like I had said earlier, will find that. So Yagzi looking for that pass. Going to try and take this shot, but it's not on target. It will bounce off the crossbar. So a good opportunity. And they'll send it back to Kony to reset. It seems like Dishcloth Bandits are trying to up the pace of the game now, trying to just change something in the third round, which is a very good idea from them. They've seen that Nameless is ca catching on to their play style, so they've changed it up a little bit. They're uh, forcing shots, uh, three-pointers that they weren't uh, in the other two rounds, and they've changed it up for round three, which is absolutely uh, brilliant because it means that they're able to maintain possession more, and they're able to catch their defense of Nameless off guard, although this one's going to be intercepted by Multi. And he's going to pass this one back, although just missing uh, his friend there. Yogsy going to take this one and try and send this boop shot through. Not going to make that one, though. And it's going to be recollected by Snowy Blue, trying to put this one through for the two, but not uh, able to find the bounce shot. And will be picked up, and the stuns will come through, so that defense will prevail. X with possession on that wall, sending it to Ness. So they will get it out of the bubble, and this clear will come through. It will bounce off the Geo to floor. Looking to retrieve it as Dishcloth Bandits up by only 1.6 minutes on the clock. They're going to hold back. Yagzi's going to try and find an opportunity. And under pressure, he'll send it for the clear. And trying to find that bounce pass up to Nest. It will be intercepted by High on Goldfish. And Goldfish sending it to mid to Hex. And Hex right up to Hunter. So they have this advantage. The stun will come through and it won't be able to find that back pass. So it will go into the hands of Dishcloth Bandits at mid. And Yogsy here trying to find this three-pointer, just missing though, but they will get the stack. Uh, not quite accurate enough though, and it's going to be Hex recollecting now for Nameless on the defense. Going to pass this one back to Hunter. And through the tube again, it will be a missed pass. So it's back and forth. Possession is changing 
hands very rapidly and under pressure from that stack setting it through tube bouncing into the bubble but look at nameless able to recover high am goldfish at ceiling setting it down for the pass into the hands of hunter so back and forth these stacks are quick to recover they're finding their clears but they're not able to capitalize on them so it's back and forth and it continues to remain back and forth five minutes on the clock and now multi trying to find this one for nameless but the steal by yogzi and yogzi will sling that one out for that a clear but the stack from nameless coming in first again but not quite accurate enough it's going to be taken now by yogzi on a one on two just going to get that duck and he's in fact he will find it but not finding the two point um though going to be recollected by snowy blue again and he tries to take that one up but the save from multi and it now coming off the post but going off his oh my goodness coming off his teammate's head almost goes in but hits the post again luckily for nameless there not conceding that two pointer back to back to back dings and not able to find its way into the goal so nameless with that chance and they're trying to take it down court they got a little bit of a reprieve multi with possession sending it through tube but it's not able to find its way through it will be back towards floor and they're out of position as dishcloth bandits looks to recover it they have this 1v1 situation as the defense is boosting back in and going for the shot attempt and it's going to be stopped easily by that goalie of nameless yeah and goldfish here trying to throw this one through and get this pass down to hex and uh, actually they stack coming through for nameless as well but snow snowy blue able to get that one first and now clearing it away for dishcloth bandits now recollected by yogzi on the other end and he's going to take that three pointer enough to t uh, to put them up now by four points and looking pretty good. They have a little bit of a buffer compared to the first and second round. Dishcloth Bandits not able to maintain in the second round. And Nameless coming back to take the second round. So Nameless didn't give up in the second round. And they're not giving up in the third round. 2QB is Hex. Hex sending it off the wall up to Multi. And Multi down to floor to Goldfish. Now Goldfish sending it back. They want to slow it down. They want to get set up around this bubble. Hunter with possession sending it back to floor. A lot of give and goes, but Ooh. not able to find that reception at the floor is a member of Nameless, and finding that clear is Coney Games through Tube. Yeah, and now it looks like Dishcloth Bandit's going to make this to the disc first. He's going to look for a three-point opportunity, it looks like, but uh, handling it here is going to be Goldfish with the clear, clearing it away from Nameless, but the stack not quite working out. Hex here trying to find this one for himself, but no, Yogg is going to get there first. Uh, but the uh, collection here by Hex, he's going to try and find this cross past the multi, will get that one, and takes it under the shield, although uh, recollecting off of the bounce and not able to get the bounce shot either. But this one taken by Hunter now, the quick pass to Hex. Hex trying to find the bounce shot, but again missing it. And uh, Nameless really have to find one of these goals. Multi here, passing this one down to Hex. He's going to try and get another bounce shot, but another missed opportunity from Nameless. They really have to start being more accurate with these shots, and the bounce shots qu aren't quite working out for them. They, they know they have to take... Difficult shots because they've seen what Coney Games can do on the defense of Dishcloth Bandits, but it, the bounce shots at the moment just aren't working out. Hex taking this one from upside down, another bounce shot miss. Multi trying to find this one up for the two, but Coney Games with another save. Coney really shining in this game, making multiple saves, multiple slap outs, and so many shot attempts will come through for Nameless, but they can't finalize those shots on goal, so they will remain down by four points, two possessions. And picking it up, it will be Yogzi. Yogzi sending it through mid into the hands of a Trello. And a Trello looking pretty with that forward court progression. So Yogzi with it, trying to juke out that defender, sending it up. And with this, Nameless is applying pressure. They need to get the disc. They need to finalize these shots. They need to get points on the board. Yeah, and it looks like they're trying to do just that with these clears and boosts. And uh, Multi trying to find the disc, and in fact he will on the side. But is he going to find the time with it? No! The bounce shot again missing. They have to find some more time with the disc so that they can take these shots and make them more accurately. Because right now, this just isn't quite working out for Nameless, despite the fact that they've taken many more shots than Dishcloth Bandits in this round. They're just not able to find those points. And the stun coming through for Snowy Blue. He's just going to take this three-point shot, but it's not quite going to be online. And now going to be slapped out by Hex. And it will still towards mid. And looking to retrieve it is Yogzi, but Yogzi doesn't have the speed, but he's not under pressure. There is no stack. Nameless really missing an opportunity to pressure there and retrieve it. It will go off the floor into the hands of Snowy. 
Snowy going off Diamond, getting stunned out, so Nameless has to get this down court. They have to follow it with a boost. They need to get a three. They need to get more points on the board if they want a chance at this. So we'll sail down towards that bubble into Coney's hands, and Coney looking for the clear. will get stunned out. Won't be on target, but there's just not enough time to come back, and I will say it now. Nameless will fall in three rounds. They'll not even get those points on the board. Coney continues to excel in this matchup and shut down that Nameless offense, forcing them to shoot off the backboard. Not able to make the shots in this third round is Nameless and Coney with an impressive performance causing that disarray. And he gets my kudos and I will say MVP of this game. Just excellent defense from both teams. But Coney going to pull ahead for Dishcloth Bandits, taking that one in two. Uh, in three, sorry. Just what a game from both teams there. But Dishcloth Bandits just able to find more shots. You can see the shots taken being 54% over that round, but uh, over all three rounds. But uh, we know for a fact that in that last round, there were so many shots taken by Nameless, they just weren't able to finish because they were rushing. And they felt that pressure from Coney. Coney continued to make so many stops in that bubble and just the bubble defense for both of these teams are very strong and they may have lacked the strength on offense or it may have been the defense being so strong it's a toss-up but a great game to both teams and uh i've got to point it out coney games coming in with 10 saves just absolutely ridiculous a Trello with two as well, that's for Dishcloth Bandits, and over for Nameless as well, almost equally as good defense. Uh, Hex with the three saves, Goldfish with the two, and Multi with two as well. So just excellent play from both teams, but Dishcloth Bandits were just able to pull away on this one. Absolutely, and a, just a stellar and phenomenal game to both teams, especially to Coney. Coney, you deserve it, MVP. But with that being said, that's the end of this matchup. Stay tuned to League General for the next matchup. I think we will be streaming the next match in an hour. I have to confirm. But I hope that you all tune in. I've been Sputnik Cobra. That's been Swift. And we'll see you later.